The city is still investigating to find out exactly what caused this retaining wall to come crashing down. While rain may have played a role, this wall is also nearly 80 years old. City crews clear away part of the fence that used to surround home plate at Olympia Park here in Mount Washington. Early Sunday morning, thousands of pounds of debris flattened the retaining wall, a light pole, and splintered the old wooden bleachers. Neighbors on Hallock Street says it sounded like thunder. Now with their cars perched above the baseball field, they're hoping this is the last landslide here. Well, I mean, it would be nice to have maybe someone come out and check it out just to make sure it's not going to go further in where the hillside will just keep coming down. The city says it's been assured that won't happen. It's working now on a game plan for the normally crowded field, one that includes putting plastic over the slide to protect the area from more rain. The hope is to have teams with permits for day games playing again within a week. But without the missing light pole, it could be at least a month before teams can play at night again. We're going to try to find them other locations to play. Um, I mean, there's no guarantee it's going to be right in the same neighborhood, but there are fields available, and we're going to do our best to, to accommodate that. Around the corner, the team sponsored by Bigham Tavern is scrambling to find other places to play its night games. With the baseball field in limbo, the owner says no ball means a big strikeout financially. There could be four or five teams with uh, 10, 12. Uh, with each team coming in. So uh, we've extended our, our business to the patio, so they'll take over the patio. We have a back room and a, an entire restaurant. The city says to replace these bleachers and the light pole lost will cost around $30,000. But to make this park whole again, the total cost could be around 100000 On Mount Washington, Laurie Penko, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.